Here are three things you missed during the Kyrie Irving controversial anti-Semitic wheat fiasco. As we all know, Kyrie posted a video called He Brews to Me Grows Wake Up Black America, which had anti-Semitic content in it. Kyrie was suspended. He eventually apologized for the tweet and rejoined the Brooklyn Nets. But take a look at this part of the interview for the first thing you may have missed. Notice how Kyrie as the media makes up the powerful influence that he has. You guys come in here and make up this powerful influence I have. But now notice at this part, Kyrie admits he has influence on his community. I'm in a unique position to have a level of influence on my community. At first, he says the media is making up the fact that he has influence, but then he admits that he does have influence on his community. This is called a contradiction. The second thing you may have missed is this. Kyrie, okay, while we're on the topic of promotion, why did you decide to promote something that Alex Jones said? That was a few weeks ago. I do not stand with Alex Jones. Notice when the reporter refers to his post as promotion, he doesn't say anything about it at this point. And to follow up on the promotion of the movie and the book. Can you please stop calling it a promotion? What am I promoting? Put it out on your platform. But I'm promoting it? But it was at this point that he said something about the post being seen as a promotion and lets his disapproval be made known. One minute, he seems okay with his post being referred to as promotion, and the next minute, he has a problem with it. This is called being inconsistent. The final thing is so obvious, but no one ever questioned. It was at this point that Kyrie made a statement which was bleeped out. Oh, you, you cannot post that. Why not? Why not? Everybody posts everything else. I don't hear an uproar of that. Here's what they bleeped out. You saw the word nigger going up on Twitter, right? I don't hear an uproar of that. What's interesting is the only part that should have been bleeped out was the N-word because nothing else that was said was considered profanity or derogatory term that needed to be censored. It should have sounded like this. You saw the word going up on Twitter, right? But instead of just bleeping out the N-word, they bleeped out the entire sentence. Why not? Why did they bleep out the entire sentence? That was very strange and suspicious. It seems the media didn't want to talk about the racial slurs being said to black people on Twitter. Maybe they didn't want us to see that Kyrie was right when he said this. I don't hear an uproar of that. And this is called the truth. Kyrie is correct when he points out that the media is more interested in making a big deal out of offensive content posted about the Jewish community than it is with offensive content posted about the black community. We can see this when a picture surfaced on the internet with Dallas Cowboys owner, Jerry Jones. In the picture, Jerry could be seen with his fellow white students trying to block black students from entering the Arkansas school. This took place in 1957. At the time the photo was taken, Jerry Jones was 14 years old. LeBron confronted the media about questioning Kyrie for his post, but not questioning anyone about the Jerry Jones controversial racist picture. I was wondering why I haven't gotten a question from you guys about the Jerry Jones photo. But when the Kyrie thing was going on, you guys were quick to ask us questions about that. I do agree that Kyrie and LeBron are right when they criticize the media for its inconsistent approach to handling offensive content. Here's a bonus. Kyrie asked a question. You saw the word nigger going up on Twitter, right? LeBron asked a question. I was wondering why I haven't gotten a question from you guys about the Jerry Jones photo. But the last thing no one realizes is that the media never responded to either Kyrie or LeBron. They only talked about the controversy, but never even attempted to answer either of their questions. For the record, I do not support or agree with anti-Semitism. 
But it is my hope that you disagree with racism just as much as I disagree with anti-Semitism. Thank you for watching. To hear more stories like this, please like and subscribe.